We will all stand together and sing a union song. We will all stand together and know that we belong to the strength of the future in a common working bond. Stand together and sing a union song. There's trouble fast approaching and the skies are overcast. But let us not lose sight of all the lessons of the past. The victories that were fought for in battles last. Not for sale! Our jobs! Not for sale! Our jobs! Not for sale! Ergon jobs! Not for sale! Ergon jobs! Not for sale! Our power assets! Not for sale! Our power assets! Not for sale! Umeran depot! Not for sale! Dalby depot! Not for sale! Noan depot! Not for sale! Tara depot! Not for sale! Quilby depot! Not for sale! St George depot! Not for sale! Kanamala depot! Not for sale! Chris McGaw, Queensland Council on Unions to Woman President. Excellent. All right, so what do you think of the um, turnout here today? It's a good turnout considering the weather and the time, and, and it's good to see that the majority of the people here are Ergon employees that are worried about their jobs. So. Yeah, why have they come on today? Well, obviously, the, 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 the government agenda is to sell all Ergon energy, yes. Energex and Powerlink. Um, along with that, these guys' jobs are along the way. Contracted all out, which we're seeing more and more of every day within the workforce. And, um, and these guys are all concerned about their jobs. Yeah, when they're talking about, you know, Dolby Depot not for sale, Milmarin Depot, what are the concerns there if that, you know, that asset asset is sold? Well, if those assets are sold, it's not just the much jobs that we lose, the guys we lose out there. It's, it's those guys' dollars in those communities, those people, you know, the, the mums and dads of, of, the, of the employees out there as well. They're, they're the, the local soccer coaches, the local football coaches, the presidents of the PNC. So that commu those communities lose those people out of the communities, not just the job. But the other thing is that the people out there need to understand is that when these assets go private into private contractors, do, do people really, and, and those from overseas um, the corporations that the profits are going to, do those people, the people out there that need to understand, they won't be sending people out at, at 2 o'clock in the morning in, in the pouring rain in the middle of the storms in the middle of the night to restore power. They'll wait till the next day, like, like they do in other, other states and other countries. So currently, as, as, as it's government owned, it's, it's responsibility to get the power on ASAP and to look after the consumers, and, and that's not going to happen under a private consumer. Yeah, now the Treasurer is here. Has he come out and had a chat with no, you guys? No, the Treasurer is, uh, for some reason, and Mr Watts have snuck in early. Um, first time I think he's ever been been um, early for anything. But yeah, no, he won't come here. But I'll be going in, in shortly when, when, when things start and I'll have, hopefully get a, my chance to have a show. So. Yeah, and now they keep consistently through that advertising campaign talking about that $4 billion we pay in interest. Um, if it's not asset sales, is there an alternative option you'd like the government to consider if their agenda is to just get us out of debt? Well, the thing is, we, we, we've too much emphasis put on the debt. And the thing is, you don't sell... Um, electricity brings back into the, into the community $1.18 billion a year. That money that it gets sold, we lose that out of the community. So the only way that they're saying that they have to do that to stop putting up taxes, well, if we lose that revenue out of the community, how is that, that revenue replaced? It's got to be by taxes. So they're talking with all tariffs. It's, it's really, um, it's a no-go. It's, 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 you've only got to take the Victorian example, where Victoria, they private time, had, had terrible reliability. Their um, the, um, Black Sunday bushfires were put down to no maintenance on the network, and that's the sort of thing that we're going to looking for. Further you live away from a depot or a main centre, the longer you're going to be waiting to get Thank you very much for that. MCGAW. <laughs> what else did you want? Is that okay, Carl? Okay, great. All right, so um, tell us whereabouts um, are you from? Why do you come along tonight? I'm the state organiser for Electrical Trade Union. I look after all southwest Queensland. And I'm here today to bring um, affected community members to protest against the depot closures and the privatisation of Irwin and Jackson Powerlink. Yeah, how's the feeling amongst workers at the oh, Absolutely, it's great. Um, especially we've got lots of Irwin people who registered for the forum and clearly um, not allowed in. There's more people on the outside than there is on the inside. It's an absolute disrespect for Irwin workers and Tumba community 
years old. So tell us, they registered for the forum but weren't allowed to go in? They couldn't even get through the, the, the um, selection process. So when you have to register, they held it from, from the start. So many people are well, here right now. Were they given a reason? There's no reason. There's no reason. No reason. Just more because there's access to the forum. So we're not sure why, but clearly this is a one-sided LNP only invite. And the very few that do fall through the gaps is just by chance. Now, how did it make you feel to think that blokes out here would love to discuss their job prospects when there's that many MPs? Well, they need an opportunity. Why don't they, the, the, the um, Treasurer, and especially Trevor Watts, who is a local member for here, why doesn't he listen to the people? These are the guys who are going to be affected, guys and girls who are going to be affected. He needs to speak to them, not sitting there talking to empty seats and his mates who will be there. So there's a very good, there's people are pissed off. What do you think of the fact that that place is basically here? This, this shows that people aren't taking a strong choice of uh, There are other other uh, ways to reduce this debt, and selling assets is not it. Especially a profitable asset like urban and Jackson Howling, it's not the way. So the people have made a decision by voting with their feet, not showing up, and this, this is the result of it. Yeah, that's how you feel, that you basically, you know, if they were interested, they would have come along. And I, I actually challenged Trevor Watts and John McVeigh to have an open community forum with all the Toowoomba, so we don't have to register. And hear what people actually have to say, not just register and so they can handpick their, their attendance. So I call them to come out, speak to the community, speak to the people who voted them in, because at the end of the day, we will vote them out. To solve, this issue, to solve this issue and hear what the people want is a referendum on the asset sales. No, it's, no maybe it's this $6 million spin campaign is nothing, it's, it's, that's all it is. Have a referendum is the only way to solve this. There's a large number of um, people from the Toowoomba community, great players of Toowoomba standing up and opposing asset sales um, against the Treasurer and his um, strong choices for them. Unfortunately what we, um, we had is um, threats from the Toowoomba Council personal fines for each and every one of these people holding up an unauthorised sign as per the council's, uh, what they say, bylaws. Um, we, we outlined clearly that it would be a sad day in, in Queensland's history if people were fined for holding up a sign, standing up for jobs in their own community. And um, we're not sure whether Toowoomba Council is going to go with it, but um, it, it, we believe it's just another um, attempt at intimidation um, against the um, not for sale campaign and members of the community that are supporting um, they're standing up against asset sales. What sort of fine did the uh, council officers threaten? Didn't mention any specific fine, just threatened fines. Uh, specifically asked, um, is it okay for people to hold signs? And we were told no. Um, we outlined that there's many signs on the way in, whether it's garage signs, whether it's un other unauthorised signs, whether it's signs that the council allows to be put up um, during their own um, election campaigns. But um, these people are, have been threatened with fines, which is a sad day in Queensland's history. But it won't stop us holding them, that's for sure. This government will not silence us. The Toowoomba Council won't silence us. Um, these are Toowoomba jobs. These are Toowoomba workers that are under threat by Tim Nichols' privatisation agenda. Look, thank you so much for that, Stuart. Thank Cheers. you. Absolutely. Stand together and sing a union song. We will all stand together and know that we belong to the strength of the future in a common working bond. Stand together and sing a union song. There's trouble fast approaching and the skies are overcast. But let us not lose sight of all the lessons of the past. The victories that were fought for in battles loud and long.